Volkswagen has admitted to programming its diesel cars to cheat on EPA emissions tests, making them pass in the lab while polluting up to 40 times federal limits when on the road. But if these cars are technically capable of following the EPA emissions guidelines, we wondered, how do VW diesels perform when they're driven on the road in cheat mode? First thing to figure out is how to get it into cheat mode in the first place. All the EPA emissions and fuel economy tests are done on a dynamometer, or dyno for short. That's a machine that simulates on the road driving while the car stays stationary in a lab. The front wheels are put on a roller, but the rear wheels, they just stay put. Since all VWs built since 2009 had standard stability and trash control, these systems need to be disabled before the car can be tested on a dyno. And we believe it's when these systems are disabled that cheat mode becomes active. Through our research, we were able to figure out how to put our 2015 Jetta TDI into cheat mode. So here's what we did. With the ignition on, but the car not started, turn on the hazard lights, press the accelerator pedal five times. You hear that ding and see that light? Now we can start the car. But here's the problem. When you start driving and the car senses the rear wheels turning, this mode is automatically disabled. So we came up with a hack. We disconnected the rear wheel sensors so the car couldn't tell the wheels were moving. Like this, we could drive the car on the road in what we believe is the cheat mode. So how did it perform? We looked at this car in a 2011 Jetta Sportwagon TDI to see how the cheat mode changed things. We tested both cars for fuel economy and acceleration times. The acceleration tests were done on our track and the fuel tests were conducted with our fuel economy rig that measures fuel flow while we drive on designated circuits. We saw some slight degradation in acceleration on the older model, about a half a second slower to 60 miles per hour, while the newer car accelerated about the same. The bigger difference we saw was with fuel economy. On the highway portion of our test, we saw fuel economy drop from 53 to 50 miles per gallon on the 2015 model and from 50 to 46 miles per gallon on the older 2011 model. Is this difference a big deal? While overall extra annual fuel costs may not be dramatic, these cars may no longer stand out among many very efficient competitors. You might be asking, why would VW do this? Would meeting emissions all the time impact durability? Did the cheat help them avoid installing expensive emission control systems? VW says they will fix these vehicles, but putting them into cheat mode all the time isn't necessarily what they will do, and we certainly don't recommend you do that either. Whatever they do, we will test the result, and if fuel economy or performance is hurt, Consumer Reports will urge VW to make restitution to its customers. For the latest on the Volkswagen controversy, check out consumerreports.org.